you doing guys? It's the Lord Among Us from RuleTheWasteland.com and today's video is going to be about how much ammunition or ammo you should store for your shit hit the fan or economic collapse preparations. And this is a topic that's sure to get a lot of uh, preppers foaming at the mouth and either in agreement or disagreement. There seems to be a lot of strong feelings about this topic. This is just what I think and I'm going to explain exactly why I think these uh, particular amounts that I'm going to tell you are how much you should store. But first, I'm going to explain that you should probably go back and watch my previous videos or podcast on exactly explaining exactly why you should be preparing or finding out why you're preparing and having a prepping mission statement in that podcast because that guides not just how much ammunition you store, but how much of anything else you store and why you're storing it. Because if you just have this idea in your head that, oh, I'm going to be prepared without really knowing what that means, at least to you, then you're not going to know when you have enough of anything and it's probably never going to feel like you have enough of anything, including ammunition, because you could always envision a scenario where you're going to need more, however ridiculous that scenario might be. Uh, might be. And with that said, basically the watershed for ammunition storage between like just modest amounts and insane amounts is if you think you're going to have to deal with a situation where you're shooting it out with a, like a crazed group of raiders or marauders. And I've explained in all my past videos that I think Mad Max type situations are not only incredibly rare, even historically, but if you really think that's, ha that's going to happen and that's what you're preparing for, then at least be um, consistent and have... all and, you know, change your lifestyle to actually prepare for that type of situation. Because if that's really what you think is going to happen, and I don't, I think it's possible, obviously, but it's it's so random throughout history that I don't think the, the it's worth spending the amount of effort and time and resources that you would have to to really be prepared for that. Because you'd have to totally drastically change your lifestyle. Just putting a few or even a 100,000 rounds of ammunition away in a, in a closet is not going to prepare you for dealing with a bunch of marauders raiding your house. So it it's stupid to focus on ammunition as a number. So first of all, I don't think you should focus on that, but if you are having that, you know, if you're on that side of the, the watershed divide that you really think you're gonna be shooting out with a bunch of raiders, then I will also say that I think the amount of loaded magazines you have is gonna be way more important than your amount of ammunition total in terms of rounds. Because if you get into a huge firefight, it doesn't matter if you have a million rounds sitting there in cases, that's useless to you. The only thing that's useful is how much you can get to in that actual interaction. So for most people, for most preppers who are really just trying to cover their bases, be prepared for vast contingency of situations, for self-defense and uh, preparedness, just across the board, I think 500 to 1,000 rounds for your main weapons will cover 95 to 99% of all possible situations where you would need to use those weapons. And I would have probably three, four, five, or six magazines for each of those weapons loaded and ready to go in a way that you can access them quickly and effectively. Because like I was just said, you know, beyond that, the amount of ammo you really have is sort of irrelevant for any individual exchange because you'd have to reload your magazines. So, you know, even the, the United States military, the main battle load is around 200 rounds. At least it was. I'm not sure if they changed it now. But so even the army thinks that you're probably not going to need more than 200 rounds per firefight. Or even if you do, it's going to be very difficult and problematic to try and carry that around with you. So I, I think it's foolish for, for us to think that we would need thousands and thousands of rounds per skirmish or whatever, if you could even call it that. So I think for vast majority of preppers, who are not planning on dealing with Mad Max raving hordes of you know thousands of lunatics that 500,000 rounds per weapon, and certainly a few thousand rounds is not a big deal. I have a lot more ammunition than that, but mostly that's because I have it for shooting, and I bought it when I thought I could get a good deal on it. Prices have continued to go, gone up for the most part, and then I just use it when I need to, buy it when it's cheaper, things like that. But for actual preparedness purposes, I don't see any real reason to just stockpile more than like a thousand rounds per main weapon, and then if you have some backup weapons, like maybe a long-range rifle or a small mouse gun or different types of specialty weapons like that, a few hundred rounds. 500 rounds is probably going to do it for the most part and you can obviously the comments are probably going to be loaded with people coming up with all sorts of crazy what if scenarios but as I've mentioned many times in the past I'm not preparing for crazy what if scenarios I'm trying to prepare in a way that doesn't drastically alter my lifestyle now and still covers 90 to 95, maybe even 99% of scenarios that are actually possible. Not the crazy, just anything you can come up with scenarios. Because obviously, no matter what your plan is, no matter what your preparations are, I could come up with a scenario that'll make it look like you don't have any you know, you're not prepared at all or something that could just completely destroy your plans. So that type of thinking is just fear-based and it's not worth dealing with and uh, basing your decisions off of. 
so yeah, that's my that's my thoughts. About a thousand rounds, up to a few thousand rounds for your main weapons. You don't need to get crazier than that. And uh, probably 500 to 1,000 for your prime or secondary weapons or specialty type weapons. The exception that I would make is for 22 long rifle. It's very easy, even in just one simple box, to score maybe 10 or 20,000 rounds. And that can be your backup plan. If you really not feel comfortable with only a thousand rounds for each weapon, then get a few thousand. Of 10,000, 50,000 rounds of 22 ammo. You'll be able to store it without taking up a lot of space. You'll be able to store it without taking up a lot of money because it's still the cheapest of the ammunition out there. And while it's not as effective as a bunch of the other weapons, it's still entirely effective for hunting, for self-defense, for a bunch of other stuff. It can still be used that way so you can get rid of that, that kind of nagging feeling of, oh, I don't have enough ammunition by just stockpiling a bunch of 22 long rifle. Won't take all your money, won't take all your space, and uh, you can still cover the bases for those contingency plans that maybe you end up needing a lot more ammunition for some reason and you somehow survive all these encounters. But that's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think as long as it's not a crazy what-if scenario. If you have a specific reason for why you think that a thousand rounds or two or three thousand rounds is not enough. I would love to hear it because I don't know of any situa survival situation where people have expended, you know, and not in military situations, but just in a normal survival situation, have expended thousands and thousands of rounds and <laughs> in like a, a shit hit the van or economic collapse scenario. This doesn't happen really. And obviously it could, but we're not pre preparing for what could happen because that could include anything. So before I start rambling, that's my thoughts on it. Check out rulethewasteland.com and I'll talk to you guys later. Now I'll preface this by saying, what will I preface this by saying?